What's up everybody? This is Future Rumation, a place where imagination meets reality and you're listening to Tejas. So guys, the Telegram videos will still go on, but this one is kind of a different video that I have made for people to understand something that I left in between in a previous meetup that I had. So with a cup of coffee, we'll get to the intro and then I'll explain you what we're doing today. So let's get started. So guys, this particular video is kind of a special uh, add up to one of the meetup that I had recently talked on. So if you have uh, following me on my LinkedIn or something, probably you already know. There was a IoT plus continuous event recently where I had a talk regarding how we can install and use containers in Raspberry Pi that is in IoT. So today I'm going to give a step by step uh, installation guide on how to install docker in rpi although setting up rpi and all the other stuff are not included in this because this will be a pretty short video so enough of talking let's get started so I have already set up the Raspberry Pi and connected it through VNC. How to install VNC and how to connect through it. I'm going to cover it up in some other video. But for now, we'll just quickly go ahead. So this is a freshly installed RPI. You can consider it. And what we are going to do is we are going to start with installation of Docker. So before that, what we need to do is we need to get some updates and upgrade. So sudo apt get update. What it will do is it will get all the updates, all the updates for the current OS, and then we'll add sudo apt get upgrade. We were playing with fire, everything turned to dust when we aim to fly higher. We got lost. Okay guys, so we are done with the updates and upgrades. Now it's time to install Docker. So we'll just paste the following command. So basically what we need to do is we need to use curl to get the Docker setup kind of thing for Linux. And then once we'll get that, we need to run it. So the command for that is sudo sh get docker sh. Whatever is good for you. Okay guys, so docker is installed and now we need to check if it is working fine. So docker, I think it's like this. Yeah, so docker is installed version 23.0.1 build and let's try and check if we do have, uh, we can run a docker hello world container. So docker run hello world and no so guys you can see here that we are having a permission denied 
uh, error in this so this is because we are not running as a non root user so we are running as a non root user in the docker and to make sure that we can use the docker in that way we need to add a group in the docker so for that what we need to do is we need to create a group so that is sudo group add docker and what it will do is it will add a group so although the so docker already exists so what we need to do is we need to make sure that we add that user to the docker group now let's try it like this and that is done and now we need to log into that new group so if that is once done and if we'll go and try one more time docker hello world probably it should work so let's try docker run hello world so now it is trying to find if the image is locally available or not if it is not available it will pull it from the docker library and that's it guys so the docker is officially installed in your rpi you can go ahead and you can check for different containers if there are any the docker ps will give you all the containers docker images images will give you all the images that are running so we already have the hello world if you go and you'll put start docker and getting started it will run the getting started as well so there are a lot of images in the docker hub you can go ahead and check so this is it guys this is a simple step-by-step -step installation guide to installing docker in rpi and i'll be dropping off a proper sheet of the commands that you can use in rpi and soon i'll be creating a full-fledged video of setting up rpi and then installing docker again although we already know installing so i'll try to skip that part and then how we can create a project and run it in a container and use that in a see the same network to access that project so that's it guys if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and share this video for those who are interested in uh, maybe DevOps and containers and who are trying to install and trick, uh, tweak some IoT stuff with containers so you can share this video to them. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Add your comments in the comment section. Go to the GitHub to get the list that I am going to add the set of commands. I'll drop out the link in the description. And also if you have any new ideas, make sure you add it in the comment box. Thank you guys. Till then, take care and keep innovating.